everybody, so today's video is going to be a book thoughts video, and this book thoughts video is going to be on Lemons by Melissa Savage. Yes, I was kindly sent this for review from Crown Publishing, and um, I actually asked them if I could review this book, and um, I'm so glad that I did. I was very, very excited about this coming out. It's already out now. Just before I get into this, go get yourself a copy now. Five stars already. I'm just going to let you all know if I could give it six, I'd give it six. I'm not saying something. Um, oh my goodness. So, get ready for... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen during this video. I don't know if I'm going to cry. I don't know because all the emotions are still really... It's like still raw. And this was just such an amazing book. I loved it so much. Um, it's a middle grade book about these two kids. Right here, there is Lem, Lemonade, that's her name. And there's Tobin, and there's Bigfoot. Um, and Lem, her mother passes away from cancer, and she's sent to live with a grandfather who she's kind of estranged from. She doesn't know him, and he doesn't know her. And she feels very out of place in this new town that she's in. This whole town's like obsessed with Bigfoot. And she meets this young boy who has his own detective agency, which he's the only detective in, and it's a bit for Bigfoot detective agency, and he's the president of it. And she meets him, and they get together and become start becoming friends, and she becomes his assistant, and she's trying to help him out in finding evidence of Bigfoot, and also, too, dealing with new surroundings and just being around someone she doesn't really know, who, are, who is her grandpa, Charlie. And... Just experiencing all these things. This does take place in 1975, if I'm not mistaken. So that was even more amazing to me. There wasn't any, like, technology stuff, iPhones, none of that stuff, like, boggling the story down. So this was just really, just, like, raw and real. And I loved it so much. It was such a beautiful read. It made me cry. I would say I didn't have any by me. But I would say if you're going to read this, have a box of tissues by you. Because I guarantee you, I 100% guarantee you that you will cry. You will cry. Um, and it's not like a sad, sad, sad story. Um, it's uplifting in parts too as well. But it just like gets you. It gets you. And it'll tug at you. And your heartstrings. And it will make you cry. And it did. And I'm just... I'm nervous about making this video too as well because, um, yeah, this was a really important book for me. So I'm going to go ahead and start talking about the book now. I'm not going to give away a lot, so you're not going to get a bunch of spoilers. Um, but this does have a mystery type of element to it as well. So if you do want to read it and you want to come back to this, it's perfectly fine. Um, but please go pick it up. Please, whether you get it from your library or you buy it online or at Barnes & Noble, just please go get yourself a copy. And it's beautiful and stunning as well. Um, and so cute. But, yeah, so let's go ahead and start talking about this. This book was absolutely, oh my gosh, amazing. I don't, I don't, I don't even have words to explain. I haven't read a book that really, like, got me real hard like this since I read Lisa and Poe by Lauren Oliver. And as you guys know, it became one of my favorite books of all time. And I am confident enough right now, as I've already read this book and I've already rated it, and I've let it sit for about a whole week pretty much, this is now one of my favorite books of all time. And I am pretty sure, now I can't say, I mean we're only in May, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be my favorite book of the year. If not, it will be one of my favorite books of the year. But I'm pretty sure this will be my favorite book of the year. That's saying a lot. I'm really hyping it up, but it deserves it so much. Melissa, if you're watching, which I really hope you are, um, you did an amazing job, and I cannot wait to read anything else that you have coming out. I just, I can't, because this was just absolutely stunning. Okay, so, um, as I said, we do follow these two kids right here. We follow Lem and Tobin, who are trying to figure out, well, it's, I already explained that she's there in this town, because her mother passed away from cancer. And I think that's one of the things that really got me during this book was that her mother passed away from cancer is because I have had two grandparents pass away from cancer. One from brain cancer and the other from colon cancer. And um, so I was really, that's something that was really, I really re related with. And also losing people is something that happens a lot 
in my life and um, and I've lost all my grandparents so it's just that did that to me as well that like you know got me and it was really relatable and also to um, her having her grandpa just having that connection and having this growing connection with him also got me too as well because I had an amazing relationship with my grandpa on my dad's side and I have pictures of him all over my room because he meant so much to me and um, Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I told myself that I wasn't going to cry because this is like, this is a review video. Like I got, I'm, I'm doing this for the publisher. So me crying is probably really weird. Um and a little bit off, but goodness, this book. Um, let me, <laughs> let me calm down really quickly. I'm, I'm, I should not apologize though, but I'm so sorry if <laughs> you had to sit through that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cut that out. I don't think I'm going to cut that out because this, ugh, this book is just amazing and I want to talk about it and all the emotions are coming, but I was really close to my grandpa and um that really like hit me hard with this because i was just like oh my gosh this girl like gets to have this connection with her grandfather things get to develop and then something happens in this book that like shook me and not in the whole like what's it called slang way that everyone was talking away it just like it got me really hard and there's a certain part in this book that really just like shocked me too as well, shook me and shocked me. And um, it has a lot, like a lot going on in here, but this is also too an amazing adventure story between two kids who sort of feel unwanted in a way and feel like there's parts of them that need to be found again and need to be worked on for them to feel better. And um, with their lives and also to Tobin, I'm all over the place in this video, I'm sorry, but Tobin um, lost his father in the war and whether it, they don't know if he's alive or if he's dead and that uh, plays into here as well. So these two kids are just lost things and they're just trying to get through. And I can relate to that so much. I think everybody can relate to that so much. But this was just, again, it's an amazing book. As I said, it has a lot of adventure. There's a mystery vibe going on to it. Um, again, it takes place in the 70s, which I adored because that's like an era that I really like as well. And ugh, this was such a great read. It was. And I cried. I cried in a video. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that's embarrassing, but I did. Is, are my eyes still red? They probably are. But I knew. That's why I was afraid to make this video because I knew. I knew that I was going to cry. I knew. And I was a little bit afraid to make this video, but I really want to because this is such an important book to me now. And I really want everybody to go read it. And you'll be hearing me talk about this just like you hear me talking about Lisa and Poe and John Belair's. This is one that will be popping up in a lot of videos in the future on my channel because goodness, oh my gosh. I want to read the back to you here as well just so you can get more of like what's going on in the book. It says, Welcome to Willow Creek, Bigfoot capital of the world. Charlie leans back on his stool. It was dark and foggy. I was driving real slow. And then in a flash of a second, he was there, right there in front of me. Really? I breathe. Did you hit him? No, thank God. He stood there staring at me through the windshield, and I couldn't move. It was like he put a spell on me or something. Then, he was gone. And I know it was Bigfoot. A real, live Bigfoot. So that's a conversation that she's having um, with her grandpa and um, Tobin when they're on one of their little expeditions trying to find evidence of Bigfoot and I just oh, I really really love this book again thank you so much to Crown Publishing for sending this to me I'm sorry if I cried in a video and you're probably sharing this on your Twitter and someone's probably watching this going is he really crying is this 29 year old guy talking about a middle grade book crying yes I am I am because this book is amazing and it and it's just, oh, 
I love it so much. And I will be buying the UK edition to this, which is called um, Tobin Bigfoot and Me. And they changed the name in the UK, but it has a really cute cover too as well. Since this is now one of my favorite books, now I have to buy another edition of it because I do that. It's some of my favorite books. I haven't done that with Lisa and Poe yet because I have to find other editions of it. But I will be buying the UK edition to go along with it because it's amazing. And I cannot wait to put this on my shelf. I have it over in my want to read little stack. And I cannot wait to have this on my shelf. I keep touching it and stuff because I, I really, really love this book. So, yeah. So that is it for today. I will see you guys next time with another video. I really hope you got something from this video. I really hope I didn't make you cry too as well. If I did, I'm sorry. And I also created a playlist of songs that I feel fit the book really, really well. And also one of them, I have to say, um, I was listening to it while I was reading the last about five pages. I did this with Lisa and Poe too as well. Um, and it's On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons, and it, okay, listen, when you're reading this book, if you get a hold of it, pull up YouTube, get that song, and put it on while you're reading the last, let me see, the last, like, four pages, and let me tell you that it's just, it just fit, it fits the book, the well, I was just flinging it around right now and almost hitting myself with it. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Hope you have a great day. Um, Melissa, again, if you're watching, um, sorry you saw me cry, but you did an amazing job writing this awesome book. And again, um, anything you have coming out, I'm excited to read it. Yes. So, yeah, I'll see you guys. I'm on top of the world, eh? I'm on top of the world, eh?